Hello, I'm Rev. Mark Brees. Thank you for joining us for today's guided daily prayer. A printed version of these prayer services can be found online at hopefornyagra.org slash daily prayer. You can also find many other resources for faith and spiritual support at hopefornyagra.org. During this guided prayer, all the text of the prayer shown on the screen will be read. However, this guided prayer is also designed to be said responsibly in various places. So, where there is bold italic text, you are encouraged to read those parts out loud along with the prayer leader. Let's begin our time of prayer together. Daily Prayer for December 15th, 2020, the third Tuesday of Advent. God of joy and exaltation, you strengthen what is weak, you enrich the poor, and give hope to those who live in fear. You are a descendant of the prophets and of the covenant of that God gave to your ancestors, saying to Abraham, And in your descendants all of the families of the earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you, to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. Let us pray together. Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us confess our sins. Merciful God, in you we take refuge, and all you have is ours. You have given freely to us your very life but we have not given freely to you, O Lord. We have not loved you with our whole hearts or given freely of that which is only on loan to us. Help us, Lord, to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly. Forgive us when we stray, hear us when we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. continue from Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God. You are great above all gods. Amen.
Let's continue in prayer. Our Father, give us the faith to believe that it is possible for us to live victoriously, even in the midst of dangerous opportunity that we call crisis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to see that there is something better than patient endurance or keeping a stiff upper lip, and that whistling in the dark is not really bravery. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless us with the greatness of humility that we may feel no shame in expressing our need of a living God. Forgive the pride that causes us to strut about like knights in shining armor when we know full well that we are but beggars in tattered rags. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Plant a seed of faith in us today and nurture it that it may grow. Then, trusting in thee, we may have the faith that goes singing in the rain, knowing that all things work together for good to them that love thee. Through Lord Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In your mercy, Lord, hear us as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes through which he looks compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands through which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes, you are his body. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. Now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today. Now go in peace.